Okay, back again with more Japanese Beatles CDs. And with some background. Yeah. This one here, whoops, still sealed. This one is not. These are both UK releases, by the way. Not that that matters to you guys, probably. Who knows? Okay, you guys hate it or love it, but here it is. <laughs> yes, this is a bootleg. Relax. It's not the end of the world, you guys. <laughs> uh, does this sound any different from anything that we own? My answer would be no. I just own it. That's all that's all there is to it, you guys. I just own it. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Then I have this copy right here. This one here is sealed. I have uh the album several times on several CDs and several albums. So didn't need to open that one. Nope. Okay, here's the open stuff, you guys. Let's start now. Hot as sun. Yes, son. If you guys have never heard this, it's not a bad listen. It's kind of fun. This is the... That was the back of it. And this is the front cover. And then it comes with the inner uh, booklet. Which uh, reads just like that. Okay, you got it? Okay, good. <laughs> That's what the CD looks like. It's kind of a cool design, huh? Then the little inner sleeve that comes with it. It's a good design here, too. I like this. Then the back. And here we have uh, oh, the working uh, version of Abbey Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. This one's uh, faded. This one's uh, been around for a while. It's a two CD set. As you can barely read it right there, huh? This is all faded. You can see it's pretty much wasted. But, you know, it's the CDs that count. Anyway, there's two of them. The only thing different about the other one is this number would be 11. That's it. Looks exactly the same. And then the inner sleeve is just plain white. Okay, and then we have Comeback Beetle. This is a great one too, I recommend. I have this also two different versions on CD, I think, and al album too, I think. One day I'll throw like everything together and go like, here's all these that I own of this or that. So. And that's what the disc looks like. Doesn't come up very good on camera, but this is actually like a, a more of a tan color, greenish tan, I'd call it. I don't know why colors don't come out sometimes, right? I guess smartphones aren't that smart, huh? See, yeah, that, see how you can see it there. This one's darker green. And then I guess that's a, like a lighter green. I think that I like the LP are actually tan, if I'm right. Okay, this is the uh, backside of the Black Album. Which I highly recommend on CD. 
if you can find it. I think I've also seen it in hard shell, but I don't think I own it offhand. I can't remember. So it comes with a poster that you guys want me to fold out for you, but I won't. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, that's a cool little thing. If I had an extra one, I'd probably have it uh, framed. But, you know, since it's only that one, I just keep it like that there then. Then the track listings is the same as the uh, vinyl album. For you people that are out there who do own it, I do know that. I, the album was a triple album, by the way. So disc one, there you go. And disc two looks the same also. There you go. And nothing back here but that number. Oh, and the booklet also came with it. Well, then the uh, booklet comes with that conversation that has the book that comes with the uh, Let It Be original box promotional release. So that's what that was right there. Then this too, nothing to see, just a black and just black. I've showed this already. And I, it was a pretty big hit for me on uh, YouTube. And it made about 50% of the people crazy in the head. A lot of people are like going, that's not real, that's not real. <laughs> Duh, get over it. <laughs> I had to tell them, I go, look, it's a video. Relax. <laughs> Just something I own, you know. I'm showing my Beatles stuff. You don't, you have a problem with it. Don't watch the, <laughs> if you're, this, this offends you somehow. I don't know, but there you go. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. That's all. That's what the disc looks like. Do I recommend it? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the inner sleeve here. Cool. In the back cover, it help. And there's the more numbers, which you can't read for heck. Okay, and we're going to the get back. So nothing different. Is there anything? Yeah, there's a few more tracks on here than from the uh, original release. So. Yeah, I recommend this one too, this Japanese one. And the little booklet again. More of the tracks again. They call it bonus tracks. Twenty-four tracks. Wow, nice. Thank you. That's what the disc looks like. I show you the other side, but there's nothing to see. <laughs> I've done that before by accident, just thinking that, oh, let's look at the other side. Nothing to see. Oh yeah, look at there. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. This one I highly recommend also because they have Fly on the Wall all on one disc. It's not on two disc. It's the US and uh, Europe or the UK did. 
And it comes with a little booklet. Oops. That's what that looks like. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Information. <laughs> yeah, it's done like the album ish. I wouldn't say 100% because I'm not sure. Never try to compare it. I'll do that one day. Oh, that's the same right there, right? Yeah. Everybody knows that. There's George. Hi, George. Morning, Terry. Okay. That's what the disc looks like. And then the inner sleeve, which will be the last one for this one. And more to come, believe it or not. I have a lot of these for some reason. So, I know they don't sell for the price I bought them for back then. Anyway, that doesn't matter because, you know, none of us have control over, you know, anything. Except how you vote, I guess. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for new subscribers. Thanks for the old subscribers. Thanks for uh, thanks and thanks and thanks. Okay, see you on the flip.